Hi guys, welcome. This is a 30 minute shoulder opening flow. This will be great if you spend a lot of time on a computer or just kind of hunched over your smartphone. <laughs> um, heart openers are great for this, but also opening into the shoulders. Um, for this practice, you will want a strap. If you do not have a strap, you can use any old belt or a scarf, uh, a towel would also work. Um, anything that's long that you can hold on to uh, should work just fine. Other than that, all you'll need is your yoga mat. So go ahead, unroll your mat, and I will meet you in a tall, comfortable seat. So coming into your tall, comfortable seat, any seat that allows you to sit up with a long spine. Once you find it, allow the hands to rest wherever feels good and invite the eyelids to close. You can also gently lower the gaze if closing the eyes is uncomfortable. Taking just a few minutes to bring the attention inward. Starting to notice any sensations in the body. Noticing what might be present in the breath. Go ahead and take a big breath in through the nose. Open the mouth and let it go. Gently fluttering the eyes open. We're gonna get started using our strap. And again, if you don't have a yoga strap, you can use any old belt or a scarf. Um, you could also use a towel. Um, we won't be using the loop feature today, so anything in this kind of long shape will work just fine. We're going to start with a seated cat-cow, so go ahead and bring the hands about as wide as the knees. I recommend if you are using a strap, holding on to the side with the buckle so it's not clanking all over the place. And then on your inhales, you're going to lift the arms, open the chest, lifting the gaze towards the sky. And as you exhale, you'll bring hands to the knees and round the back as you bring the chin towards the chest. Inhale, lift. And exhale, round. Inhaling to come up. See if you can bring the hands a little bit farther back. And as you exhale, rounding the back, really feeling the shoulder blades spread. Taking two more like this, inhaling to open and exhaling to round. One more inhale. And exhale. Go ahead, inhale, lift up. And we're gonna floss the arms all the way around to the back, so maybe you open the hands a little wider if you need to bring the hands all the way around and back and down. Inhale, lift up. And as you exhale, simply lower the hands. Inhaling to lift. As you exhale, bring them down the back. Inhale up. And exhale down. See if maybe you can start to move the hands a little bit closer to each other. Maybe not, and that's okay. But playing with it, seeing if that becomes available as you do a few more of these. Go ahead and take one more just like this.
Lovely. Go ahead and release your strap. We'll take an easy seated twist here. So on your inhale, go ahead and lift the arms by the ears, lengthen the spine. And as you exhale, twist to the right, starting from the belly and then the ribs and then the shoulders, bringing the left hand to the right knee, right hand behind you. And then the head turns last, looking over the right shoulder. On your inhale, turn the head back to center. Follow the shoulders, the ribs, the belly, lifting the arms. Take an inhale here. As you exhale, twist to the left, belly, ribs, shoulders, releasing right hand to left knee, left hand behind you, and turning the head to look over the left shoulder. On your inhale, turning the head to center, followed by the shoulders, the ribs, the belly, lifting the arms, and then releasing the hands down. Make your way into a tabletop position. Hands and knees from your tabletop. We will take a side stretch. So stacking the shoulders uh, right above the wrists and the hips right above the knees, finding a neutral spine here. Go ahead and extend the right leg straight back and then cross it all the way over towards the left, bringing the ball of the foot down onto the earth. Take an inhale to lengthen the spine long, and as you exhale, turn to look over the left shoulder, taking a peek at your foot, feeling for the stretch all along the right side of the body. Go ahead and release back to center, releasing the right knee underneath you. We'll take the other side. Go ahead and extend the left leg straight back. Cross it over towards the right, bringing the ball of the foot onto the earth. Take an inhale to lengthen. And as you exhale, turn to look over the right shoulder, maybe peek at your foot. And then releasing back into center. From here, go ahead and walk the hands forward about one hand's length. Tuck the toes underneath, lift knees and hips. Find downward facing dog. Take a couple minutes here to pedal out the feet, bend the knees, maybe shift the hips. Any movement that speaks to you here in this downward facing dog. And when you feel that you are satisfied with movement in this shape, start to find stillness. Spreading the fingers wide, press down through all five knuckles, paying special attention to pressing down into the index finger and the thumb, pulling the shoulder blades down the back, making space for the neck, Imagining a block between the thighs, gently pressing in and pulling the belly up and in gently so that the core stays alive. On an inhale and breath, go ahead and come forward into a plank pose, stacking the shoulders right above the wrists, bringing the gaze towards the front edge of your mat. And as you take an exhale, go ahead and breast back downward facing dog. Two more like that. Inhale, come forward into a plank pose. And as you exhale, downward facing dog. One more, inhale, plank pose. And exhale, downward facing dog. From here, go ahead, walk the feet up towards the hands. Finding hip width distance in the feet. Bending the knees deeply, letting the torso and head hang heavy. Maybe shaking the head yes and no a few times, really letting the torso hang loose.
On an inhale, bring hands to shins, lift halfway, lengthen the spine. As you exhale, fold forward. Inhale, hands to shins, half lift. Exhale, fold. Go ahead, inhale, lift halfway. This time as you exhale, bring hands onto hips, bend in the knees, and on your next inhale, come all the way up to stand. Lovely. We'll start with some Surya Namaskar C. So go ahead and bring the big toes to touch, finding your Tadasana Mountain Pose. Go ahead and hook the thumbs in front of the body. Bring a gentle bend into the knees, and as you inhale, swoop the arms all the way up, finding a gentle back bend at the top. And as you exhale, bend the knees, swoop forward, bringing the arms all the way behind you, clasping the hands as you fold. Taking a couple of breaths here, opening the shoulders. Pulling the shoulder blades back towards each other. And then go ahead and release hands to the earth. And step the right foot way back. Opening the chest towards the front of your mat. Plant the palms and step the left foot back, finding downward facing dog. So you inhale, come forward into a plank pose. And as you exhale, lower the knees, bend the elbows back, lower the chest, and lower the chin. Inhale, slide forward. Cobra pose, open the chest, shoulder blades pull back. And as you exhale, downward facing dog. One more, inhale, lift halfway, hands to shins. As you exhale, bring hands to hips, bend in the knees, and on your inhale, come up to stand. Starting with Surya Namaskar C. Go ahead and hook the thumbs in front of the body, bring a gentle bend into the knees. As you inhale, swooping the arms all the way up, finding a gentle back bend. And as you exhale, bend the knees, swoop the arms all the way around as you fold, clasping the hands behind you. Taking a couple breaths here in this forward fold with the shoulder opener. Make sure you're pulling the shoulder blades back towards each other. And go ahead, release hands to the earth, stepping the right foot way back, finding a lunge position, opening the chest towards the front of your mat, and then planting the palms down and stepping the left foot back into downward facing dog. On your inhale, slide forward, come into plank pose. As you exhale, lower the knees, bend the elbows back, lower the ch chest and the chin. Inhale, slide forward, cobra pose, shoulder blades pull back. And as you exhale, downward facing dog. And then walk the feet up towards the hands. Go ahead and step the right foot up in between the hands. Open the chest towards the front of your mat. And then step the left foot up to meet the right forward fold. Hook the thumbs in front of the body. Bring a gentle bend in the knees. And as you inhale, swoop the arms up. <laughs> gentle back bend. As you exhale, come forward once again, bending the knees as you swoop the arms behind you, clasping the hands as you fold. Releasing hands to the earth, stepping the left foot way back, finding a lunge, opening the chest towards the front of your mat. 
planting the palm, stepping the right foot back into downward facing dog. Inhaling to come forward, plank pose. As you exhale, lowering the knees, bending the elbows, lowering the chest and the chin to the earth. Inhale, slide forward, cobra pose, open the chest. And as you exhale, downward facing dog. From downward facing dog. Go ahead, step the left foot up between the hands, open the chest, and then step the right foot up to meet the left, fold forward. Hooking the thumbs in front of the body, bringing a gentle bend in the knees, inhaling to rise, gentle back bend. And as you exhale, hands into heart center, and then releasing arms by the sides of the body. Lovely. We'll take a vinyasa to make our way into downward facing dog. So go ahead and inhale, lifting the arms. Exhale, fold forward, hinging at the hips. Inhale, lift the gaze, lengthen the spine. Exhale, step back, downward facing dog. Inhale, plank pose. Exhale, lower the knees, bending the elbows, lower the torso to the earth. Inhale, cobra pose, open the chest. Exhaling into downward facing dog. From your downward facing dog, step the right foot up in between the hands, staying on the ball of the back foot. When you feel steady, go ahead and lift the torso, lifting the arms, coming into a high lunge. Now from here, we're going to come into eagle arms. I'll turn to face you so you see what that looks like. And we're going to wrap the left arm underneath the right. So go ahead, open the arms into a T, cross the left arm underneath the right, and you have a few options. You can either bring the hands onto the shoulders right here, feel for the opening. You can lift the forearms and bring the backs of the hands to touch, or you can wrap the forearms all the way around each other, bringing the Uh, palms of the hands to touch coming into your eagle eagle wrap so eagle wrapping the arms once you've found the configuration that works for you go ahead and lift the elbows in line with the shoulders and if you have either backs of the hands or palms together go ahead and pull the hands away from the face feeling for the opening in the shoulders And then on an inhale, go ahead, lift the chest up towards the sky, finding a bit more opening. From here, we're going to come into Eagle Pose. So we're going to lean the torso over the right leg, bringing all the weight onto the right leg, lifting the left leg up in towards the chest. I'll turn to face you. So you'll lift the left leg up into the chest, and then from here, find an internal rotation as you wrap the leg, and you can bring the toes onto the earth, or if you have a wrap around the calf, you can go for the wrap around the calf, or the foot can just kind of hang, hang loose here. Pressing the legs in towards each other will help you to find balance here in your eagle pose. Taking one more breath. And then go ahead and release. Shake it out. <laughs> Find Tadasana Mountain Pose at the top of your mat. Beautiful. Go ahead, take an inhale, lift the arms. Exhale, fold forward, let it go. Inhale, lift the gaze. Exhale, press the palms, step back, downward facing dog. Taking the other side, stepping the left foot up in between the hands, staying on the ball of the right foot when you feel steady, lifting the torso, lifting the arms. We're gonna find the eagle wrap on the other side this time. So go ahead, wrap the right arm underneath the left. And again, arms can come onto the shoulders, backs of the hands can touch, or you can go for the full wrap, wrapping the, uh, bringing the palms to touch. Go ahead, lift the elbows up in line with the shoulders and pull the hands away from the face. Maybe finding a gentle lift 
in the chest up towards the sky. Staying strong in the legs. Coming into Eagle Pose. Go ahead, lean the torso over the left leg. Begin to shift the weight, coming onto the left leg, bringing right knee in towards the chest. Finding that internal rotation in the legs as you wrap right leg over the left. Maybe finding a full wrap. Maybe just resting the toes on the outside of the left foot. Staying for one more breath. And then go ahead and release and shake that all out. <laughs> From here, we'll make our way into a dolphin pose. So go ahead, take an inhale to lift the arms, find length. And as you exhale, fold. Inhaling to lift the gaze, lengthen the spine. Exhale, press the palms and step back into downward facing dog. From here, we're going to come into a dolphin pose. So what you're going to do is bring all the weight into the right hand and start to bring the left forearm onto the earth, left elbow onto the earth, making sure that the elbow is staying in line with the wrist. Once you've got that one down, go ahead and bring the right forearm onto the earth. Maybe if you have the strength here, you can begin to bend the elbows back towards each other and bring both elbows onto the earth at the same time. Once you've got the elbows down, go ahead and press the chest back towards the legs. You can bring the gaze towards the feet. So we're in a downward facing dog shape, but on the forearms. It's a great pose for opening in the shoulders and also building strength in the shoulders. So notice if you start to collapse down and press the earth away, really pressing into the hands and into the forearms, pressing the chest back towards the legs. And the belly continues to pull up and in. Don't forget about the legs. Remaining nice and active, the kneecaps pulling up towards the hip points. And then go ahead, lower the knees to the earth. Bringing seat onto feet, releasing the forehead, finding a child's pose. Child's pose, go ahead and inch the hands forward a little bit farther. And then bring the palms together to touch. From here, go ahead and lift the hands, bringing them towards the back of the neck. Finding some shoulder opening here in your child's pose. From here, we're going to play with the prep into headstand. So go ahead, releasing the hands down, lift the torso, begin to walk your torso up to sit on your heels. We are not going to come all the way into headstand today. We're going to play with the building blocks for headstand. So. What I'd first like for you to do is to locate the crown of the head. So if you make an L shape with your fingers, bring the thumb right in between the eyebrows and then extend the fingers up to the top of the head. And the place where the index finger lands is the crown of the head. So gen gently tap that, feel for that. That is the spot that will come onto the earth. To measure the distance between the arms, go ahead and wrap the fingers around the bottom of your triceps. So this is your shoulder width distance. Keep hold of the arms here as you bring the elbows onto the earth. The elbows should stay exactly where they are. Go ahead and release the hands, interlace the fingers, and open the palms to make yourself a little bowl. 
I like to put one pinky in front of the other so they don't smush each other. So now you've got this little bowl. That little bowl is going to cradle your head. From here, go ahead and tuck the toes, lifting knees and hips, coming into your dolphin pose once again. So same posture we were just in, dolphin, but the hands are now clasped. And you've got a little bowl with your hands. From here, I'd like you to go ahead and lift the gaze and look at that bowl with the hands. Really uh, pressing into the arm, so making sure you're not collapsing down. You're pressing down, pulling the shoulder blades back. And then from here, starting to walk the feet up in towards the arms. If you start to collapse down, you've gone too far, maybe walk the feet back, bring a gentle bend into the knees, allowing you to press the earth away as you start to, con as you continue to walk your legs in. When you cannot walk the legs in any farther, go ahead, bring the crown of the head onto the earth, cradling the head with the hands, and stay right here. Notice if you start to collapse, press the earth away, pressing the chest towards the legs. Stay for as long as you can. And when you've had enough of that, coming back onto the knees and finding your child's pose. And you're in child's pose. Go ahead and inch the fingers forward once again, bringing the palms to touch, and then lifting the hands, bringing them towards the back of the neck, the back of the head. Go ahead and release the hands, lifting the torso. Start to make your way onto your back. So that headstand prep is a great place to play as you build strength for headstand and as you start to get comfortable with the concept of being on your head. It can be a little, uh, a little unnerving. Go ahead, make your way onto your back. We'll take an easy supine twist. So go ahead, hug the knees in towards the chest and then drop them over towards the left, maybe scooching the hips over towards the right, making sure to keep the right shoulder on the earth, and then bringing the gaze to look over the right shoulder. Go ahead, lift the legs back up, hugging them in. We'll take them over towards the right, maybe scooching the hips over towards the left. The left shoulder will stay on the earth this time, and the gaze can come over that left shoulder, completing the twist. And then lifting back into center. Hug the knees in, give them one last squeeze here. And then as you're ready, releasing the legs long, bringing the feet about as wide as your mat, maybe wider, take up space. Releasing the arms by the sides of the body, allowing the palms to face up. Go ahead and take a big breath in through the nose, filling up the belly. Open the mouth and let that go. Take two more like that, inhale. Let it go. One more big breath in. And release. Release any control over the breath. Taking just a few moments here in Shavasana allowing yourself to completely surrender, completely release.
If you have more time to stay in your Shavasana, please do. Otherwise, start to bring a gentle wiggle into the fingers and the toes. And turning the head gently from side to side. And extending the arms long overhead and taking a nice long stretch. Bringing the feet flat onto the mat and turning onto the side of your choice. Taking a moment here. As you're ready, using the hands to help press you up. Keeping the eyes closed if you can, making your way into a comfortable seat. Taking a big breath in through the nose. Open the mouth, let it go. As you are ready, gently fluttering the eyes open. Thank you so much for joining me today. Have yourself a beautiful rest of your day. Namaste.